how we are going to exterminate white people, because that, in my estimation, is the only conclusion I have come to. We have to exterminate white people off of the face of the planet to solve this problem. Now, I don't care whether you clap or not, but I'm saying to you that we need to solve this problem because they are going to kill us. And I will leave on that. So we have to just set up our own system and stop playing and get very serious and not be diverted. And the one what's going on, guys? We're back again with another video. Choo choo. Zaza. And today we are talking about black people not being racist. It can't be racist. Um, as you saw in the clip in the intro, black people can be very, very racist. That that dude is racist as hell. But you know, if if you can, if you don't believe what I'm telling you. Then we got some more evidence from you. Straight out the uh, locked in with Zaza Vault. Go we're going over to her page and check it out. She had 2.14k. She can use way more. I'm trying to get monetized. Thank you very much. And uh, this is part two of her, of her Black People Can't Be Racist series. So check this out. Texas A&M professor asks, when is it okay to kill whites? New York professor says having a white nuclear family promotes white supremacy. Professor tweets that white people should commit mass suicide. College professor says kill cops, kill all white people, and kill the straights. Professor says all I want for Christmas is white genocide. Georgetown professor says all white people are racist. Trinity College professor calls white people inhuman. Bro, these are professors teaching your kids when you send them to school. I mean, I've already talked about how I was trained by people like this in high school. Are you telling me things like this? Are you telling me things like this? I was taught that I couldn't be racist as a black person in high school. This is not a joke. Yep. <clears throat> if this if this is how radical they teaching these kids in college, just imagine what they're teaching them in elementary school and high school. So this 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 type of stuff is is it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So you need to be homeschooling your kids. Let them fucking die. College professor says believing in hard work is a white ideology. College professor says white people are conditioned to commit mass murder. A professor equates math with white privilege. A professor says white supremacist patriarchy is responsible for the Vegas shooting. Professors hold a white racism course at FGCU. USC professor calls for a holocaust against all white people. Professor says I'll teach my children to be cautious and distrust friendship with white people. Baltimore professor says white people need to personally give all of their money to black people. Reparations. Well, that's less. Crazy. Baltimore. Yeah. So the these this is clearly clear, 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 clear racism. And not only is it clear racism, it's teaching other people to be racist. And I posted this. I did not make this clip. Somebody else compiled all these articles. But the comment you see in the um, left hand corner, top left hand corner, where the girl said, "Girl, by racism includes oppression. White people can't be oppressed, and most braids are black culture." Google cultural appropriation. So she was responding to something I said about braids. Obviously, I was condone. Uh, co I was um, speaking against the racism that's just normalized in the black community. And she went on to say that black white people can't be oppressed. You can't be racist towards them. So I went ahead and replied with this clip, which TikTok actually deleted because it was hate speech. Yep. More professor says white people need to personally give all of their money to black people. Yeah, so white people need to give all of their money to black people. This is this is the reparations argument. They think that because some white people in the South have slaves, that all white people need to pay. Not, not just all white people. All Americans need to pay through their tax dollars to pay for descendants of slaves, which is way more black people now, and is way more descendants of slaves because not all the descendants of slaves look like this. And not all the slave owners look like that. So it's just it's 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 a dumbass argument. People. College professor says some white people may have to die to solve racism. College professor says white masculinity is a problem for America. Georgetown professor says all white people are racist. Rutgers professor was taken to the NYC hospital for psychiatric evaluation after he tweeted threatening to kill white people. White professor calls all white people to mass suicide because of slavery here's a slide from a college classroom that wait wait what? i can't believe that white professor calls all white people to mass suicide over slavery he don't want to start with himself though why are you right. so up? right you 
you you start with yourself. Lead by example. <laughs> what are you doing? Lead by example. He ain't gonna do that though. He's gonna tell you to kill yourself. Right. So killing yourself over something that you didn't do, your mom didn't do, your dad didn't do, your grandfather didn't do, your great grand like it doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, we should all kill ourselves because of the sin in the Garden of Eden. Like, just, it doesn't make any sense. Ooh. ...to mass suicide because of slavery. Here's a slide from a college classroom that says white tears on a mug. Here's another... Yeah, so you, you see... Because of slavery. They even, they even got the Muslims on, belt, on board. They even got them on board. She talking about white tears. Uh, ma'am, black people would classify you as white too. Right. They think somehow that if they speak against white supremacy... They're going to be, I don't know, saved. No, they don't care about y'all. So stop. They barely care about other niggas. You think they care about you? Come on. Like, the, the, don't come be on. an idiot. Just look at the black people as communists because that's what they are. Communists use what they use you for what they can get out of you. And then they kill you. They get rid of you. They're knocking your heads off. You think because you speak out against white supremacy too, they're not going to turn on you? Nice. Come on now. Nah. Here's a slide from a college classroom that says white tears on a mug. Here's another slide from a college classroom that says white people stay colonizing. White privilege does exist. Bigfoot, unicorns, reverse racism. What do they all have? And the fact that they're saying that presented this in a, co in a college setting is insane. You paid thousands of dollars. You're in debt for a useless degree. You're in school talking about BS. What is this? What what course are you taking where you're having this discussion, bro? And, and how is it applicable in the real world setting? These this things is, are in school in La La Land. This is wild. This is crazy. This is wild. They not what, what class are you taking? You're taking, taking African American studies or sociology. African American studies, sociology, which is communism one on one. That's literally I learned about uh, socialism in uh, sociology class in college. My freshman year, we took sociology one on one. And I remember thinking that um, Karl Marx and Darwin and all them folks, well, specifically Karl Marx, he seemed to explain what I wasn't understanding about the world. Like, he seemed to make sense of the, the, the dynamic between so-called people in power and the, the people that's, like, regular like me and the the day-to-day -day life. and how, it, it, He seemed to make sense of it. So it's so easy for these kids to get indoctrinated because it seems to make sense. Communism sounds good. Marxism sounds good in theory. And wait, I just thought it was something else, right? These people go to school and get these useless degrees and then turn around and want... <laughs> they want their uh their loans forgiven. They want you to pay. They want you, they to, want you pay to pay for their useless degree. They want you to pay for it. They want you to pay for the fact that they went to school and learned to hate you. If that's not communism, I don't know. So that's woo. been common, stating that reverse racism isn't real. Y'all white people are dangerous. The horror story is white people are a plague to the planet. White people are a plague to the planet. White people are a 10% on the entire planet. How are they a plague? They're not even a third. Bro, if any of these said black people, the school would be shut down. The NAACP would be all over it. Yep. Al Sharpton and that would be all over it. Yep. What the hell is it? There's no there's no national advancement for white people. There's no group. There's no group for that. The uh, you wanna you could say the Proud Boys, the Proud Boys is ran by a Hispanic. And that was and that wasn't a, a, a all white thing or all Hispanic thing. It was anybody. It was America first group. Like if if this if the roles were reversed, these that's schools what it would is. be shut that's, down. That's the part that gets me. If the roles were reversed, y'all have a problem. So why are you doing it? Why is it okay to do it one way but not the other? Because they already was taught that black people can't be racist. So it it, it cuts that cord right there. As soon as you start making your strides towards truth, well, black people can't be racist, so. And I remember when I learned that, I'm like, okay, I, I guess. I mean, that, that kind of sounds stupid, but hey. It, it do sound stupid, but see. Why, why would that, I fight against that? I mean, if I can't be racist, then I can say whatever I want, so. Yeah. And not feel bad about it. In order for it to make sense, you have to you have to accept the fact that you don't have no power. You have to give up your power. Right. It's like a sacrifice. Or, or, yeah. In order to 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 accept the benefits of the woke ideology and the victimhood mentality, you have to give up your individuality and your individual power. You have to give up the will that God gave you. Yeah. You have to give it up. Because in order to say that these outside forces in this world has absolute control over my life you're denying god you're denying that god runs all things you're denying that
You're denying that God is in control. You're denying Simple that you that. can do all things through Christ. Exactly. 100%. You, you're you denying that. Did you believe somebody held you back? Exactly. Planet. Here's one that says white people are crazy. And finally, how white people plague... Plague society. You check her out on TikTok. This, this, this is the same I'm TikTok. I'm trying to remember if this TikTok page still exists. I know my, I, I'm on my third page, I think. It's Locked in with Zaza 3.0. Yeah. That's my current page. Because that page also got deleted. Yeah. I guess I was too white supremacist for them. Too coon. Too coon. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so this is this is, this is is what's going on. They they at school teaching your kids that that black people can't be racist. And at, at some point it's gonna be some type of accepted slavery on these college campuses. It's gonna I'm sure they're gonna be having some type of slavery because the white people are gonna consent to it. They're gonna be like, Oh well, I am in debt to you because of my ancestors, so it's only right because they, they emasculating these men, all all men, but especially the white men. It's bad. they getting it hard. And the white guilt is just so strong right now. And the black power is also so strong, helped and funded by white and Jewish people, which don't make no sense because it don't sound like black power at all. It sounds like a black pawn. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. By the way, let me throw this out. Um, if, you, if you're suffering from white guilt and, you know, you feel like we need to shut up and d all this is justified, please, please, please donate to us. We want to right now. Catch up me right now. <laughs> like I'm not joking. If you if you feel like you owe black people something, you need to help them. Help us. Yep. Help out. Since you just can't bear the sin of slavery. Help out. We'll gladly take your money. You can start with us. It'll go to a good cause. Why not? Well, I'm a direct descendant of. So I can prove. I can prove my um heritage. I'm a direct slave descendant. So me first. And I'm a no no. I'm a black woman. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. The only thing I'm missing is the LGBT title. <laughs> Right, just imagine, imagine this a trans flag back. Right, there. just imagine. Use your imagination. I know y'all, know y'all good at that. Um, but yeah, so this, this is the, this is the problem. This is the problem. This narrative is, uh, this, this has been going on. It's only getting stronger. It's only getting worse. And that's why white people gotta fight back. Cause y'all gonna lose y'all country. Y'all are losing y'all country. You're losing your country, and it's honestly a shame to see it because y'all are submitting to, to black people. And they not they don't got nothing to offer to y'all. They hate y'all. They hate y'all. Do you got this is just a video of black people and white people telling other people, groups of people, indoctrinating people at mass. If if they presenting this stuff in class, just imagine what the prompt was in all the classes. Anybody that's taking that class that year, maybe in any year, because the same teacher. Just imagine you got multiple classes of students thinking like this and making powerpoints like this. And I was I was actually looking paying attention to like the years from when a lot of these articles were posted. There was like 2015, 2017. Yep. Oh, bro, these these a couple years ago. Imagine what they're doing now. Post oh, yeah. 2020 college. Bors. Can only imagine what they're doing yeah. now. Post post George Floyd. <laughs> Ooh. I can only Ooh. imagine. I can only imagine. Ooh. Yeah, your kid gonna come back with a mushy brain, smooth <laughs> brain. They finna iron the wrinkles out your kid's brain. Smooth brain activities. Because they gonna come back and be so radicalized. You it's not gonna be funny. You ain't gonna know. And the thing is, you're not even gonna know until you have like a real philosophical conversation with them. And you and then you realize, oh my goodness. If you're not already a liberal, which you probably are. Um, you're probably gonna think, oh my goodness. What the, what are they teaching you at this school? But at this point, they already been indoctrinated. And they, and they literally taught to be at odds with their parent because your parent is an old dinosaur. Your parent don't know what they talk. They don't understand the world. And that's what it's supposed to that, that is communism. It's turning the, the kid is turning everybody against each other, destroying everybody. So the government and the authority, so the authoritarian government can come in and say, all right, stop fighting. We got this. We got it. Y'all can't stop fighting. We got it. Y'all ran the police out. Cause y'all got no police. We got a police. Don't worry. But these kids is being used for Marxism, which is an arm of communism, which is the sword of communism, the political sword or the economic sword, whatever you want to call it. They ain't hearing you, though. Uh, they're not hearing you. you know, All they see is two coons tap dancing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but, you know, do what you want. I suggest you homeschool your kids, but, you know, do what you want. We're I'm a product of being homeschooled but. and... <laughs> I'm a scholar. I was able to break free of indoctrination. Although I did get indoctrinated thoroughly. 
I still had my brain intact from my childhood. My mom did teach me to think, think critically. So, I was able to say, hey, this doesn't really make any sense. Does it? It, it doesn't make any sense. It simply doesn't make sense. And you're not going to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. You're not. I'm going to say that this doesn't make sense. And I'm going to question it. And if you can't provide me answers to my question, then I'm going to assume that she don't know any either. And you're just blindly following what you were told. That's exactly what you're doing. Won't be me. Mm -mm. But, you know, like I said, do what you want. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends, buddies, and family members. Um, trying to get to 1,000 subs. Please hit that subscribe and hit the bell. Um, and go on over to her page. You've seen the type of stuff that's on her page. You think my page is good. You're going to love her page. Um, right, I ain't making these clips for nothing. Right. They always delete my clips. Yep. So, you know, we're going to leave you with that. And we're going to catch you on the next one. Peace.